Hello and welcome to episode 145 of Vokta Gaming. I am your host, the vocal terrorist, Jesse Rain, and I am rocking a brand new pair of awesome TDK headphones. Anyway, starting today, I have a best of three between a Zerg and a Protoss. First up, the Zerg. You may well know him. He is, in fact, the creator of the universe himself. He is I am Nasty! And opposing him today is a yellow Protoss player. He is the most recent Code S runner up finalist. His name is Squirtle. So, of course, uh, this is from IPL, so Nesty's using the IPL account IPL Observer D, and Squirtle is using his North American uh, account, which is Pros, but I, but believe in me, they are Nesty and Squirtle. So this is going to be really fun. We have two players who right now are at the tops of their games. Nesty playing absolutely brilliantly recently in Zerg vs. Zerg, but his Zerg vs. Protoss is pretty scary. I think his matchups are at about... 58% wins, maybe 60, something like that. I know his Zerg versus Zerg is over 70%, which is crazy. And of course, we have Squirtle, having made it all the way to the Codex Finals, taking MVP to the final game, making it 4-3, unfortunately not winning, still not giving us that Protoss champion of the GSL Codex that we want so much. As we see, Squirtle is going to expand early. Nasty going for pool before hatchery, just playing it safe right now. Um, so, some of you will have noticed, not many of you I know because you don't really watch them, but yesterday there was no episode 3 of Vokta Plays Planescape Torment. The reason for this is I was pretty upset yesterday. Um, me and my fiancé are now broken up, we are no longer getting married. Um, I know some of you will already know this. Um, it's kind of a big deal, but I did not want to miss a day of StarCraft. It's kind of what I'm using to help myself get through it. So, as we see there, Forge after the expand for Squirtle, uh, followed up by the Gateway, going to wall off quite effectively here, throwing the cannon down. Really, really nice play from Squirtle here. Very, very safe opening. We're going for the economic stuff here as well. So, yeah, that's why there wasn't an episode, but that will be back next week. Um, and, of course, we will give you your regularly updated... Starcraft 2 as well, as Squirtle takes both gas here and the main. Uh, it looks like Nesty going for a very quick third hatch, so following up his economy start with even more economy. So we're going to go for a while without any real aggression from either of these players, which is good because it gives me a chance to talk about a new project, EZStarcraft.com. That is EZ, the letters, uh, followed of course by Starcraft.com. It is a new StarCraft strategy website featuring videos from many, many StarCraft 2 commentators, uh, often with LinkedIn replays as well, so you can see exactly how the pros do it. It's pretty awesome. Yours truly is on there, so please, please go check it out. Um, my videos have already got uh, have already got about 10 views on them a piece. Which is nice because Easy Starcraft only went up yesterday. So we're trying to promote it. Uh, that's Nick that's doing uh, a great deal of the work on that. So great job, Nick, if you are watching this. Uh, really hope you guys go and check it out. Uh, while I'm on the subject of other things you should check out, you should, of course, go to youtube.com forward slash vapor game. Because every Friday I am doing a series of short analyses of Starcraft 2 Pros called Starcraft 2 Best of the Best. Uh, episode 3 is going up this Friday, I believe it is scheduled for, uh, and it features Nesty versus Stefano, and it is about the importance of scouting, uh, which we are seeing here, both players doing. Uh, it's going to be awesome, it's the best episode yet, episode 4 is even better than that, so please, please, please tune into those. Uh, it does help me out, on Vapor Game right now, I have two episodes up, and they are the two most watched videos on the Vapor Game channel. So that is awesome. Thank you guys if you have already watched them. And if you haven't yet, please do so. So we have Nesty getting gas, getting back to the game now, and dropping a Roach Warren. We have Squirtle adding a couple of gateways in the main. Going up to four gates. So it looks like pretty standard play from both of these players. Nesty's economy, of course, is way out in front at the moment. 
having that third hatchery really does help. If we just take a look at the harvest account, look at that. Nest here already at 43 to the 38. And Squirtle is going to take down the neutral supply depot there. Because you've got that cannon, you may as well do something with it. Now this is nice from Nesty. Squirtle trying to drop that pylon, going to harass the third with it, but Nesty scouted it out, stopped it from going down, and so his third is going to be safe for a while longer. Squirtle, meanwhile, is going to get more gas, and he's going to go Robotech. Interesting. Uh, will this be Colossus, or will this just be for Observers while he goes more towards the, uh, the Templar tech? Maybe Stalkers with Blink? That's what I'd like to see. I'd like to see a couple of observers out from him. Um, and then maybe go to Immortal Production. I'm really liking this kind of heavy Immortal build lately against uh, a Zerg player going Roaches. So we'll see if anything comes to that. We do have an Evolution Chamber going up for Nesty. Gonna maybe start on those upgrades. Only just now getting Zergling speed. So really, really focusing on the economy. Lair going up as well. Now a bit of scouting being done. Uh, going to move out with just sentries and zealots. Interesting. Finally starting to add some stalkers to the mix now. Now, will this do anything? It's going to be intercepted by zerglings. Ah, that's not too good. You don't want to lose any sentries at this point. Oh, nicely done. Good backing off there. Means these units do survive very, very well. In fact, only one sentry taking any damage at all. And now, Nesty is supply blocked for a couple of seconds while he builds those reservers. It's not going to matter. And not observers, overlords even. And is starting to produce roaches. Now we're going very, very gateway heavy in the main base of Squirtle. So it looks like that's the plan. Twilight Council going down. So my prediction is Blink Stalkers, perhaps into High Templar. Uh, I mean, it's possible it will go the Zealot Archon route. But I'm feeling right now that we're going to be seeing Blink Stalkers. We shall see, though. As you can see, he's starting to add more Stalkers to this mix. So I really do feel like that is the way this is going to go. We have Zerg Missile Attacks Level 1 on the way, Burrow on the way, and the Road to Movement Speed as well for Nesty. Nesty's Creep, nothing special right now. Just expanding out to this fourth base. Doesn't actually link up his main and natural, which is a big no-no, but never mind. He's going to carry on anyway. We have this Observer out, scouting absolutely everything. Squirtle is just going to see all that is going on. And he's going to feel pretty happy about this. Backs off now with these units, which is the right thing to do. He doesn't have the correct amount of units yet to take on this army. Drops a third base. This is going to be good for him. He needs to be able to defend this. Three base Protoss is very, very strong. You can pretty much get up whatever composition you like. It does seem like he's going heavy immortals, which supports the Blink Stalker into perhaps High Templar later on for the Splash. Since it does not look like he wants to take up to Colossus. And he is in fact adding two more gateways at this base. Now this Roach Push could be huge. But there's quite a lot here to hold it off. I'd like to see another Immortal uh, join this army. Which it will. To help defend this there. We only have one cannon out so far. Uh, the Sentries of course will help being able to split the Roach army up. And allow Squirtle to engage how and when he wants. But look at this. Let's just take a look at the units comparison tab right now. Uh, we've got 31 Zerglings, 48 Roaches, to 6 Sentries, 13 Stalkers, 2 Immortals, and only 3 Zealots. Yeah, this could be tricky for Squirtle to hold. There's a huge supply advantage for Nesty to have. And he's getting the upgrades out as well. We have Primus Ground Weapons Level 2 about to finish. Nesty, I don't think, has any armor. No, he doesn't. So once plus two finishes, Squirtle is going to have the advantage there. But Nesty has the advantage in numbers. And this is going to really do some damage here. Nice force moves, but of course Burrow. <coughs> Excuse me. Does not have Burrow movement yet, so he cannot negate those force fields. That is huge. Burrow movement is going to finish at the same time as level two weapons. So, force fields will be negated. We will start to see no more sentry usage from Scuttle. Perhaps he's using him for Guardian Shield. Now, Nessie is hesitant to engage here with this group of roaches. Plus two ground weapons on the way for Squirtle. Uh, plus two missile attacks. Still quite a long way away for Nestie. Nestie using this pressure 
to get up a fourth base, but I'm uh, going to try and borrow some roaches in. Unfortunately, man, there is an observer here, so Squirtle sees all of this coming. And now he's going to get an attack in before the roaches can attack. And the roaches are choked off. The roaches are not able to get into this base. They're having to borrow and take more shots. This is a night nice angle for Squirtle now. Oh, excellent force fields. Once again, most of the roaches unable to engage. Squirtle doing so much damage. The Immortals doing the damage here. Stalkers blinking on top of the roaches. They can't escape. Nesty is losing all of his roaches in this engagement. Incredible tactical play there by Squirtle. And Nesty is now on the back foot. Squirtle's moving out. Nesty just does not have the units to hold this. He only has 21 roaches to 23 stalkers and 5 immortals. Incredible. He has the upgrade advantage. 2-1 to just one attack right now. There is no way Nesty's going to hold this off. He's going straight for this second base. He wants to get in among this tech. Squirtle going to take down the rocks. Give himself a good concave. And he's just going to go in there and try to kill Nessie. Now, one in all, not able to fire. But most of the rest doing the damage here. He is going to lose some stalkers. We're going to go to the unit counting station here. And watch him lose. But look, six immortals now. More units reinforcing here. Incredible. Nesty's units. He just doesn't have anything to defend. He has one Zergling. Four Roaches and three Queens against this army. And there's a GG from Nesty. Squirtle goes one game up in this IPL. Best of three. Oh, that was fun. Squirtle is playing so good right now. It is unbelievable. I am so, so excited. I remember watching him play and being not too happy, actually. Um... <laughs> That Squirtle was getting far in because I was not a fan. But damn, his players stepped up a level lately. Anyway, that was episode 145 of Vector Gaming. I have been your host, the vocal terrorist, Jesse Rain. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with game two of I Am Nest versus Startel Squirrel? TSL Squirrel? TSL Squirrel. I, I really can't remember what team he's on. This is bugging me now. Um, post in the comments, guys. Let me know. Let me know what team Squirtle's on. I will remember by tomorrow, but please post in the comments anyway. Uh, again, thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more of me, don't forget you can check out youtube.com forward slash vapor game. You can browse the archives. Or you can check me out over at easystarcraft.com along with a bunch of other really, really good casters. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all again tomorrow. Have a very nice night.